Hey guys, welcome to the School of Nomads. My name is Richard Darby and in this review I want to talk to you about Commission Creator. Now Commission Creator is a done for you website that allows you to make affiliate commissions. Now very quickly we're going to go into the dashboard. I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you exactly what you're getting here and then I'll go back to the sales page and just discuss a few things around this type of method and some of the things you need to watch out for especially when you're looking at sales pages for products like this. So if you haven't been over to Trade before don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I release new videos and guys if you're really interested in affiliate marketing and you want to learn how to build a business online go ahead and check out my link in the description below over to the school of nomads and i'll take you through the whole process completely for free step by step so let's jump straight into the site and i want to really show you what you're getting here so this is the affiliate site now the first thing i'm going to do here because these are the usual types of dashboards you get in all these products now is i'm going to preview the actual site that they're selling now the idea here is that you actually just use the site that they've already set up for you and you go ahead and change the affiliate links in the site on the back end and you can go ahead and use this to make money so you'll see here there's various products in here that have already got built-in reviews and the idea is you would go ahead and have your affiliate links in here and if somebody comes along here they go to this say social video ads review they click read more they come down look at this great review of this and if they hit any of these get access now then they go over to the actual site and if they make a purchase you'll make a commission now just very very quickly show you what's happening here what they're giving you is this part of my overall funnel here so this is the review site and i have an opt-in form on the review site here they go ahead and click anything here they'll have an affiliate link and they go over to the sales page now one gap here i see and i'll go into this in a little bit more detail is there is a lot of email marketing required when you're doing any kind of affiliate marketing if you want to be a success now you will get the one-off person that comes along to your site and goes straight through and actually purchases but the vast majority won't the vast majority will click away or they'll just sign in some kind of opt-in form and this is where your email marketing takes over now this is a big gap in this product there's nothing here about how to do your email marketing so if you're a complete beginner you're going to miss out a lot on the email marketing and the second thing the really big thing here is this portion here so this is my traffic to my site now the traffic is the visitors that are going to come over to your site and actually view it now the way these sites are constructed you won't get traffic over to your sites as it stands and i'm going to go back and i'm going to explain why so i come back over here and as i said this is your actual site let me just go back to the site a second and basically the site has various sections on here you have some about me type contact pages underneath here that you can set up and you have a opt-in form here and you have some banner ads that you can add all of this can be done on the back end now as it stands, this isn't a, a bad thing, right? These these sites do work, and I see many, many people actually do reviews on YouTube, just like I do, and they have sites where they put their reviews. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with this method. So on the face of it, I see nothing really wrong with this, apart from the fact that all of these images aren't very nice. So the, the site doesn't look like it's been built correctly because these images are all squashed. And I'm not sure what this bar is all about and these two degrees. I don't know any of this, what any of this is all about. This is all a bit weird. Um, but in itself, you know, the site is fine. It's just very, very simple. If I just go back to the dashboard, what you have is the various settings for the site. And you can put in a general setting, your author bio, your affiliate ID, which is the ID you need to have to actually make this yours so that you go ahead and get your various commissions so you need a jvzoo affiliate id you need a clickbank affiliate id i need a warrior plus affiliate id so that whatever offers they've got in here if you make a commission it becomes yours then you have a place for your leads big issue with any kind of software like this that stores leads from opt-in forms when you're not using a separate autoresponder like get response like i use is you've got to be very careful storing people's data on your websites there's a lot of laws in place now gdpr laws in the uk you can get in a lot of trouble if you're not storing people's data correctly so i would never use any kind of software like this to actually collect leads i'd always use something like get response because i know that's been set up correctly to actually handle all of those laws you have your offers here so these are the various offers that they have on the front end now i will show the otos there is more offers on the 
OTO side. So here are the various types of offers and you can see the review here for these offers. And again, this hasn't been set up right, but there is an opt-in page here. And then there is a review for this particular offer here. So it's very simple. You know, it doesn't look that great. None of this text looks very nice, but you know, there is a review there. Also on here, there's an affiliate approval here and you can go ahead and click on this link and get your link if you wanted to give out a link individually to this product. So as you go ahead, you've got your various pages here, about me page, contact page, disclaimer page, you can fill in. You have some bonuses here. You have this opt-in form here. Now this allows you to build your opt-in form. You know, it just allows you to fill in various parts of this opt-in form so that when they see it on the site, this is what they'll actually see. Now the idea of the redirect URL would be that you can go ahead and direct them off to an offer once they fill in your opt-in form. You have a banner section here. You can go ahead and put in banners and basically that would be this on the actual site itself. You go ahead and find this banner on Clickbank and you would go ahead and plug this banner into your site. And here you go. There's a custom banner here. Wait, shows where you want to put it and then you put in some kind of image here. But again, all of these images are very squashed. It's not a very nice uh, formatted site, this. For a page builder, it's just an extraordinary simple page builder. It's pretty poor. You know, it's not a very nice page builder at all. You can get better page builders than this just by using something like Elementor, which is completely free, and just build your own review site. You don't actually need this at all. And I would always advise you to do your own reviews in the first place. Don't use somebody else's. Because it allows you to get much more credibility with your audience when you're trying to sell them stuff using somebody else's review and just blindly sending the link to people i don't think is a very good way to build a business but there you go and if i go back to the settings one thing i did notice is when i come to trying to find the various autoresponders it links to the only one i can see at the moment is mailchimp and mailchimp do not like affiliate marketing they're notorious for banning people who are using their platform to send affiliate marketing emails on so it's completely the wrong choice for me and i'll be interested to see what their actual emails that come from these folks what platform they're using so just jump back to the main dashboard guys i want to show you the main issue i think i see with this apart from it being a very very low quality page builder one of the big issues i see with this is that there is no traffic solution for this so this is on their platform so this is never going to get any kind of organic traffic if i go back to my funnel one of the biggest things you're going to have here is anybody can build a review site and put an opt-in form on there you can use things like elementor there's dozens and dozens of page builders on there i will put a few videos in the description below which shows the types of tools that i use to build pages for my different types of reviews that i do so there is various types of page builders you can use this is the hard part is getting traffic over to your reviews now most people that you will see if you come over to youtube a lot are using youtube now a vast majority of the folks out there that are trying to throw bonuses at you all the time to buy any old crap they're the ones that are actually using youtube to drive traffic over to their bonus pages and then getting you over to their sales pages that's the method they're using now you could obviously use social media facebook instagram or you could have a blog or an or an article which this actually is but the problem with this is but the problem with this is when i mention blog article here what i mean is a blog that actually ranks you will never rank with any of these reviews on google because they're not unique and they're on somebody else's url so it becomes a big issue so, but if you had a unique blog where you had unique reviews you could use that to actually go ahead and come over and use those reviews to come over to the sales page so this piece here your traffic is the biggest issue on here now when they say on the sales page there's 60 times traffic sources for a start i can't see 60 on here but i'll give them the benefit of the doubt it's probably in an upsell these are not traffic sources unless you have an existing following so if you've got a big facebook audience or a big twitter audience or whatever that one is or reddit or linkedin unless you have one of those types of followings you will not get traffic over to this link which is, at the end of the day is the only way this is going to work if you get traffic over to your site so unless you got these i would definitely avoid this and i would learn the basics of generating traffic over to whatever product and service you have now again if you want to learn how to do this i've got a completely free resource in the description below which teaches you step by step how to set up everything that i'm talking about including 
multiple ways to drive free traffic and paid traffic over to your offers. It's all down there. All you need to do is go ahead and sign up. But as far as this is concerned, that's the major gap here. It is a low quality page builder. I will give them the benefit of the doubt. It isn't a lot of money, it's $17. You get what you get for that amount of money. But the traffic piece is something you need to be very wary of, or you're just gonna go ahead, plug all your nice affiliate links into here and have absolutely nobody visiting the site. So let's just jump back over to the sales page. This is the 60 times traffic, free traffic. It's not free traffic. You're not gonna get anybody unless you actually have an audience. Zero domain or hosting. Again, if they stop supporting this in any way, your business is gone. So that's not a good thing. And again, 100% beginner friendly. There's big gaps in the actual, I was gonna say training here, but on the JV access, there is no training. So I'm hoping there is some training by the time you get to it. But there's big gaps here, guys. You need to understand how to do email marketing. And most of all, you need to understand how to drive traffic. I just come down here, three simple steps. There's always three simple steps. But I want to just kind of argue with a couple of these things. So to make affiliate commissions, you need to find the best converting offers in the number one niche. Then you must write dozens of reviews with highly valued bonuses. No, you don't. What you need to do is have a business that is honest and transparent and people trust you. When you write a review and say something is good, then they will purchase off you. You don't always have to throw thousands of bonuses at anything to sell it. That's what the other folks you'll see on YouTube are doing. And really, they're just selling nonsense products to try and make a little bit of money. Second thing is to build a buyer's list, you'll need a high value software to give away as lead magnets, which would cost you $10,000. Absolute nonsense. I've got a buyer's list. I've got a YouTube channel of only 4,000 subscribers. I don't give away any $10,000 software to make commissions. Absolutely nonsense. <laughs> to get free traffic, you'll need a social following on all the big sites. Absolutely agree with that. So when they actually give you free traffic in the product itself, and they tell you to share this link over to these sites, well, well, how does it work then? It doesn't suddenly appear on people's timelines that you have nothing to do with you. So it's exactly the same thing. And to have passive in income, you'd need a website of your own designed by an expert. No, you don't. You can go to multiple page builders these days. They're all super easy to use. You can just get it done yourself, a little bit of time and it'll be done. And you have it filled with content banners and affiliate links and hosted on pro servers. Or you'd need to host it on a server. You'd need your own domain name. But quite frankly, guys, $10 for your domain name and starting at $5 for hosting is not that much money if you want to build a real business online. So I said enough on the sales page. The only thing I want to kind of point out for anybody who hasn't been to my reviews before is please ignore all kind of financial proof on any kind of sales page like this. This is the same financial proof they actually used on their last sales page, which is for a product called Profit Pusher. And you see these graphics here. They're all just graphics, right? Completely made up. They may make commissions themselves, but they don't make it off these pro types of products. They make it off selling rubbish on the internet. That's how they're making their money. If you look at this graphic here, it's exactly the same as this graphic here. There's no difference, guys. Same as this one here is the same as this one here. Just ignore them, guys. They don't mean anything. All they are is graphics. So there's a 30 day money back guarantee on this guys. So if you do go ahead and you want to take a look at this, then just make sure you have a traffic source. It's the only way it's going to work for you. Let's go over and have a look at the OTOs. The OTOs, the front end, the commission creator is $17. Apparently there's going to be a dime sale. Upsell one is unlimited edition at $29. You upgrade to promote unlimited offers to scale commissions even further. Upsell 2, Autopilot Edition is $39. You activate 60 times affiliate programs per day and over 1,500 campaigns instantly preloaded. If you haven't got traffic, it doesn't matter if you've got 60 or 6 million. You're still not going to make any money. Upsell 3, Done For You Edition is $197. Let my elite team site up a Done For You site. I guess that's set up a Done For You site for you. All we need is your ClickBank ID. Or I thought that's what this product actually is, a Done For You site. Upsell 4 is a reseller edition, $197. Earn 100% across the entire funnel selling this top selling warrior offer on its own. So you're going to sell something that is going to make other people struggle to make any money out of. So I don't think that's a very good idea. And Upsell 5 is mega bundle edition at $97. Get access to an insane 
37 software tools that cost me over $300,000 to build. So they've got 37 pieces of software that's about $9,000 each and they're going to give you it for $97. I don't think that's very likely, do you? So guys, I'll give this around a 2 out of 10 just because the page builder does work. The method is legitimate. You have a review site, you drive traffic to the review site, people go along and they purchase off you. But unfortunately, with this type of product, you really are going to struggle to get any traffic over here because nothing's unique unless you have YouTube videos or some nice blog content that people go ahead and read. You are just not going to drive traffic to these types of links. So guys, I hope that was of value to you. If it was, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. All I'm trying to do, guys, is give you a little bit of my experience and make sure you have as much information as possible before you go ahead and purchase any types of products like this online. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I release new videos. Until next time, guys, take care.